Let's move on. Dr. Keith Ablow is here. Doctor, you believe that oh, the president is ruining the youth of America. Why don't you start out with 20 seconds to make your case? Well, Stuart, here's the thing. I think it's time to come to terms with the fact that we have to immunize our kids from a very negative psychological message. The president's message is that individuals are not in and of themselves powerful, certainly not through their connection to any kind of God in the universe, which the president would say is sort of a superstition, I believe he'd say that. And so they're getting a very disempowering message. You can't do it. People don't build their own businesses. They need the government. You're going to need food stamps. You're going to need unemployment. You're going to need to stay at home till you're 26 on your parents' uh, insurance. And you can't decide how to use your money because we're going to make you buy stuff like insurance even if you don't want it. We have to believe now, because it's true, that this is a disempowering psychological message and we have to talk to our kids about it. Do you think that dependence is a state of mind? Dependence and victim Hood is a state of mind. If you believe yourself to have been victimized by the United States and you think you are due compensation and that people cannot be powerful in their own right because they've been disempowered for decades or hundreds of years by this country, then you're not going to be able to put a life together. Listen, the president would say to the Boston Red Sox, you didn't win the World Series. <laughs> there needed to be the state government, the laws that uh, pertain to Fenway Park, to parking, the highways that people took to get there and that you took to get there. So what? You swung a bat. The government won that game. That's a disempowering message. We have to talk to our children and say, the message from the president is toxic and it can affect your life negatively if you listen to what he's saying and believe it. That's Ooh. awful to have to tell kids. All right, Charles? You know, Dr. Keith, uh, I'm thinking about what you're saying. In yesterday's testimony, we have Representative Mike Doyle out of Pennsylvania, and he bragged about his kid, his 33-year-old kid, being subsidized by taxpayers, and it just shocked me. It really shocked me. And, and I wrote about this this morning, you know, proud Irish the, the traditions from day one all the way to coming to America and what they've done in this country, too. The idea that a 33-year-old person would be called a kid and his congressman father would be proud that other people are paying for his health insurance. So it's not just young people anymore. No, it's, it's, you know, I'm in agreement with you, Charles. It's not just young people. It's everybody who's being coaxed into, into measuring their own power against subsidies. Well, I can get a free cell phone, I can get subsidized housing, get lots of food stamps. Why would I go to work? It looks like the numbers are actually in favor of being dependent. Right. But see, that's not an accident. That's the message from this president. But what do you do about direct... it? I mean, you put people on the couch. What do you do about it? I mean, I just want to shake them, for heaven's sake. What do you do? Well, I'll tell you, it'll shake kids a little bit to tell them with uh, no, uh, n no joy that the president of the United States is attempting to disempower them, that he's attempting to tell them that they're weak. And then you tell them nothing could be further from the truth. You're incredibly strong. You have God-given talents that it is up to you to develop and that if you do that, good things will happen for you. And you also tell them that the president is not bigger than the truth. And the truth is that courage and conviction always win. And so that this president's messages will turn out to be seen as false. They just have to have hope and confidence. To tell the kids of the United States, listen, the president is not, does not have your best interest at heart. Is an awful, awful thing to have to do, but we have to do it. Dr. Keith Ablow, I think you're going to promote, uh, provoke, I should say, a lot of uh, response to that on our Facebook page, and we welcome it. Dr. Keith Ablow, good stuff. Fair enough. Thank you, sir. Take Appreciate care, it. my friend. All right. Down